Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the broadcast of the uh, Blood Bowl Grand Finals. The finals are finally here. Yes, the much delayed Grand Finals. Mm hmm. It's taken a while, only... but we got there. We got there. Yep, only eight years later. 
Yeah, I, I think we may have slightly underestimated the requirements of this league, but hey, never mind. We got there eventually. Yeah, and that's all that matters. It is indeed. The final matchup will, of course, be played between myself and Crendor, just as planned versus the Crendorians, the top two ranked teams. We can have a look at how we got here, if we so desire. Mm -hmm. it's easy enough to do. If we have a look at the rankings, you will see exactly how we got here. Crendorians with 19 points total in the round robin. Six wins, one draw, no losses. And just as planned, five wins, one draw, one loss for 16 points. And in the playoffs, if I recall correctly, we had a 2-0 victory by Crendor over Angry Joe, and I had a 1-0 victory by myself over Press Hard to Continue's Amazon team, which leaves us only with the finals. Mm -hmm. It's been a, a long season, let's just put it that way. The next season might even be longer. It's a possibility, but... <laughs> you never know. I don't know, I'm thinking about a double round robin or a 16-man lineup. I'm thinking double round robin might work better, though. We'll see, we'll see. Give people a chance to really level up and start to get some very interesting skills going. Yeah, yes. and make it more fun. Damn right, absolutely. Also, I get to play with a wonderful, wonderful goblin team, which is something I'm very much looking forward to. Yeah. And I'm playing with the Underworld, and I can't have little Skittles on it, but I can have variations of it. Well, that's pretty true. You can indeed. All right, well, without further ado, I think we should probably rock and roll. Our teams are actually, in points values, extremely evenly matched. Yep. Except mine has little Skittles on it. And I'm wearing my little Skittle shirt, which oh. has brought me good luck. Look, all I'm saying is that if there was ever a time for a career-ending injury, this would be it. It would be it. But he won practically all the categories for stats, so... We should have a look at stats, actually. There's a ridiculous amount of them, if I recall there correctly. Are. Hall of Fame. Most experienced player is Lil Skittles, followed by Ryung from Justice Planned. Best scorer, Lil Skittles, followed by Ryung from Justice Planned. Best thrower, actually, we're not even on that list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have not done a successful throw ever in this <laughs> entire league. It has not happened. Yep. Yeah. Dirty Dave, the only person to have ever intercepted a ball in the entirety of this particular league. Impressive, really. Mm -hmm. Lenok, the most violent player, better than Dirty Dave with four casualties instead of three. Yep. There you go. And I actually have three of the top ten in that one. Very and violent. Joe following up. Yeah, extremely violent. That's what we like to see. Best runner, Lil Skittles, followed by Ranel from Epic Maneuver. Who knew that Jesse Cox would be good at running away? <laughs> Who knew? I couldn't have anticipated it. <laughs> Bet, best thrower, the only team that tried it, <laughs> as you can see. Yep. Oh, I actually uh, managed to apparently make 14 yards. Yeah, I, I made a 24-yard pass apparently, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Survivor, Lil Skittles, and Ryung, and actually a lot of people. Survivor's a pretty bad <laughs> stat. It it's is. Like, pretty yeah. much my whole team has played the entire season, aside from one of my guys that's missing this week, but he doesn't have any bonuses or anything, so... Not too big a deal. Best killer! Yeah. Angry Joe the Brutal. In fact, it's like there's, there have been six total fatal casualties in this particular event. You didn't get a single one of them. I'm actually really disappointed in you, man. I know. I just... I got bad luck with the dice, mainly. Yeah. It's Best receiver. Common. Yep. You, you actually did make two receptions, so not too bad. I'm not Little even Skittles. on that list. It's to be expected. Yep. Alright. Are you about ready to rock this? I am ready. Sounds good to me. Okay. Let's get a setup going, shall we? Mm-hmm. For those who have just tuned in, this is the grand finals of the TGS Blood Bowl League. This is Here the final go. match. The game invitation has been accepted. There will be, by the looks of it, well, you get 30,000 in inducements, if you so desire. Oh, I get 30,000. I think so. Yeah, apparently I have a slightly higher team rank than you do. And All right. You want to know the reason for it? It's because I have 30k. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. 30,000 in money, so that's increased my team value, so you get to use it. What the hell? <laughs> Look for logic, ladies and gentlemen. This is how the accounting works. Just, it's wonderful logic in, in my book. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you like it. I don't even know if I can do anything. Not really. You could maybe get some, like, cheering fans. That would probably be about it. Hiring... I guess I can hire a bodyguard? But I can't do anything to <laughs> you because I have no money, so what's the point? <laughs> That's true. But if I wanted to, I could do that. 60... Uh... Player... Wait, what? Okay, okay. I can try a potion. Let's see if that works. So you're doping. You freely admit yes. it. Yes. Freely admit yes. it. Thought so. I fully admit it. We're going to try it on this guy. And... I don't know if that did anything. Oh, wait. I Lock it I in. To... Wait, 30,000. Price 20,000. I am so confused. So confused. Get one potion, lock it in on a person, and then just click it. Should work. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna try this. All right, click your inducement results, and let's see what happened. Did what? You? <laughs> why Player did you? Return. Why did you <laughs> drug test me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure your players weren't cheating. I have no money to cheat with. <laughs> you never know. Oh no, a random drug test. The, the athletes these days. I could have oh, tested geez. your guy and he could have been taking like... God damn it. <laughs> dwarf roids. Let's rock and roll this damn thing. Let's get going. <laughs> All right. Those super high fan factors. Yep, here we go. I do have three Saurus with block now. I think... So. Ugh, that's that's gonna be ugly. We'll see how that one goes. I've got a lot of guard. Here we are! In the, the random field. <laughs> <laughs> the grand finals of the TGS Mud Bowl League will be I... held in Farmer Giles' old <laughs> king field. <laughs> I think it's very fitting. Unfortunately, the TGS Blood Bowl League has run out of budget. <laughs> we spent it all on random drug tests. <laughs> this is the end. This is the end of the TGS Blood Bowl League. There will be no more seasons. We are entering bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! Okay, all right, okay. <sighs> <laughs> oh, now God. it's raining. God, oh, Jesus! Beautiful. Really, uh, <laughs> making the ball slippery and difficult to hold. That's actually kind of a good thing for me. So I'll take that. It's true. Uh, there is no audience for this. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I don't blame them. <laughs> oh, no, we have four diehard fans up to the goal line right there. It's true. There we go. We have those, a, a troll on drums. <laughs> I think I have more cheerleaders than we have fans. I think you actually do, yes. You, that, that's confirmed. Yep. yep. There will be more people in the injury box than there will be in the crowd for this grand <laughs> final right here. Yep. Ugh. Apparently, fan fact is meaningless in this version of Blood Bowl. But, uh, there you go. Oh man. Oh. All right. Uh, oh wow. I'm supposed. Okay. Yep. You All need right. to get those guys on the field doing something. Does help. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna move. What you've got. All right. What's the button for grid? Okay, that's G and then. Block, block card. There we go. Dirty Dave here. Well, there he is here. I can move him here. I can move him up here. Then we make a little, little box. I am disappointed by the lack of leveling up on my bigger players, but we'll go with it. I'm disappointed too. Yep, I didn't get lucky with them. Moogles failed horribly last game, so <laughs> I didn't get anywhere. Alright, okay, here we go. So, who do I want on the field? I've got plenty of spares, thankfully. I might need it, considering. Okay, Chaos Dwarf Blockers, Hobgoblins. Okay, block your sure, hands. I, my, most of my team has block. Funnily enough, my big guys don't, which is not an ideal situation, but... 
We'll, we'll go with what we've got here. Okay, so you're going to be heavy on the front lines. Can't really straight up fight you. That's not really going to happen. Yeah. Not by the looks of it, you you've just you've got way too much. I mean, it's strength four and strength five on the front line. Regardless of what I stack up, you're still going to be getting the two dice blocks. Mm -hmm. So don't know necessarily if it's such a good idea to to face you directly and just try and scrum on the front line. So okay. I think you should try. I don't believe that that is the case. I, I think you <laughs> might be trying to hoodwink me in some way, and I'm not all right with that. So. Angry Joe did say that my mellow attitude was very tranquil, tranquil and hypnotic to him, and it, it made him do stupid things. It's highly deceptive, what can I say? All right, I've got the minimum of three on the front line, so uh, <laughs> I, I certainly do not have much intention of trying to fight that line straight up because that is not going to work for me regardless i have huge amounts of guard like in fact i think all of my chaos dwarves have guard i don't know maybe i do want to front line you if i can get rid of one of your players then i can just guard the crap out of you so you know what it, it we are not a chaos dwarf team that takes this nonsense lightly so we're gonna front line we're gonna fight you this is what we're good at this is all we're good at. <laughs> you just talk yourself out of it. I, we're going to fight into you. It. We're going to goddamn fight you on that front line. This is how it's going to go down. We're going to break that line of yours. We're going to get those two dice blocks, and we're going to have God and every sodding guy. Sounds oh, for good. the love get of the God. <laughs> get him. <laughs> all right, well, this is a good start, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, sweet. Thank you very much for that. I think that's going to be going to the guy who's the most difficult all right let's start breaking down this damn front line of yours guess what with all these guards i actually legitimately have two dice blocks against some of your people i all knew right. investing in guard on every player would actually be useful let's start collapsing this front line we'll start with the weak saurus over the side right there here we go let's start it off there's a punch to the face that's what all we right. like to see all right fine with me let's start just punching. I'm good with the punching. There we go. Down goes another one. All right, My that... players actually like to take punches to get warmed up. All right. All right. That's good to know. It's good to know. Okay. We'll give him a fair workout there. There goes down another Saurus. Okay. The front line collapsing as we speak. And yet still, somehow, I had I have a two dice red block against this <laughs> ZJ Honorana Donovan. What the? How, how is that even possible? Considering what... Lizard Nitka has guard. Uh, all right, well, let's get rid of Lizard Dick, yeah, then, shall we? The question is, how are we going to do that? Do I want to roll a one dice block with Guard? Do I want to roll a two dice block with Frenzy and Horns and Lona and Jesus Christ? Uh, I think hmm. both sound great. I, I, don't, I, don't, I just heartily disagree with that idea. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see if I can get enough support. Okay, so I got one and two there. If I get one more, can I get a two dice block? Damn it. Ugh, I, I don't know about this. All right, screw it. Let's go for the one. No. There we go. No! There we go. Son of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, I should have gone with the damn two dice. Yeah, I talked into it. I, I don't know. Why, do, why did I even do that? I mean, one dice with block seemed to be safer than two dice without block. But right now, actually... someone is raging that you don't know how block works. Nah, it's, the... it's just not true. It, it isn't true. The problem <laughs> is this guy's got frenzy, and the likelihood is there would have been a follow-up that may have resulted in a turnover. So I thought, you know what? One, you know, one dice would have been better with block, but that's actually not statistically true, and I probably should have practiced Blood Bowl in the last three weeks. But, yeah, should have gone with the two dice. Should have gone with the two dice. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah, pretty much. See, my skinks are very hard-nosed skinks. They're not afraid to get down. Uh, if you, you want to get down with my hobgoblins, my bull centaurs, you, you are more than welcome. Mm. I put block on all my hobgoblins, so... <laughs> Except... Oh, wait, yeah, you did. Never mind. All right. Here's my new guy. He... Let's see, what can he do? Uh, he can get right here. Maybe I'll do that. To be fair, that's, that was still a 1 in 6 chance. Well, actually, it was a 1 in 36 chance of that happening. So, you know, my, the odds were in my favor on that one. They, they were, were pretty good. They were pretty good. Like, I've had much worse things happen. Yeah, like, yeah. Like re-rolling triple skull dice into more triple skull dice. Yeah, I've had that happen once. It's like, if I'd sent the Minotaur in... 
even if he'd got a pushback, he would have been forced to roll two more dice and also get right into the middle of your Saurus. And, uh, you know, I still think I was a better right. It was a better call. You know, one and six. That's yeah. all right. One and six. There you go. Ah! Uh Okay. Okay. Uh, at least you've burned your reroll in turn one as well. I'm alright with that. Well I got I got four. I'm fine. I'm oh fine. yes, you you attack the one and only blocker that has dodge. <laughs> <laughs> see. Crank the blodger, he's right there. Look at him. He's totally blodgy. <laughs> uh alright. Let's do a You know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this guy out. Your reung guy out, just because <laughs> or, oh, you're or not going to do that, as it turns out. <laughs> or I can fall. Wah, wah, wah. All right, okay. All right, here we go. So, let's get back up again. This time around, I think I have better position on you. So, the plan of knocking over all your saurus will continue. The question. The rain is actually very calming. Oh, I'm glad, glad to hear that. I actually don't have better position on you, funnily enough. You've got en You don't have a lot of guard, but apparently you have enough guard to stop me from getting those two dices. So I'm not I getting do. enough assists. I think it's because Crank isn't in the mix. That's why. Then suddenly we'll start to get... Still? Still? Really? No. Oh, formed... Crank's the only one that doesn't have guard. God damn it. I gave him dodge <laughs> instead. All right, okay. It's well, the clump. It is the clump. Very much so. We need to break up the clump. I'm going to... I'm entrusting Moogles with this. You better not screw this up. All right, there you go. Yay! No. K.O. on honor, honor, Donovan, what the balls he's called. There we go. That's what we like honor, to say. Honor, Donovan. Yeah, that doesn't actually break up the clump in the way that I thought it would, but <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, yeah, let's just, I just want to punch him in the face. That's my priority right now, and I'm sticking to it. All right. Okay. Well, Young, you can start to deal with this annoying little skinky bastard. There we go. Smack. All right. That's him out of the way. Now. Attempting to directly intercept skinks is a terrible idea. The best idea is to punch them in the head. So we're probably going to do a little bit of that. All right. That sounds fairly reasonable. Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. That sounds like a pretty good plan. In the meantime, my ball carrier is going to go up in this direction. As it turns out, that sounds like a great idea. Okay. All let's, right. Let's see what else we can do. I'm thinking we blitz that other skink, get him out of the way. If He's a tar- Oh! I have block. I can do that. There we go. Oh, the K. Ugh. Oh, down you go, Jacoby Jones. You will be taking a little bit of a nap. Okay, what else have we got? I'm going to lock down the You need a nap. Make sure he can't blitz my ball centaur. He only has agility one, so he's not going to be going anywhere. All right, risky time. So, do I want to punch time. Lizard Ditka in the head? Answer I think is, you should try. I think that's a great idea. Let's punch Lizard Ditka in there. God damn it! <laughs> All right. Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you already use a reroll too? Uh, I, I no, I just I didn't want to burn another one because the uh, last time I did that on a one dice, I got yet another red. I'm like, it's not that <laughs> important at this stage. I only have like a couple more block rolls, and they're not that great anyway. So I might as well not burn the reroll. I might need it later. It's very true. That's my logic, and I'm sticking to it. Good logic. Removal skills back. He likes to make plays. Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's see if he can make a plane against a Greg strength full ball centaur. We'll get up in your face. You feel free. I, I, I will feel free. What's that? All right. Nah. What's that? All right. Uh, can Dirty Dave... All right, that could work. But I'd have to make a play. I may have to make a big-time play. So we gotta we got to try this. Alright. Uh Damn. Will that be Block? Where's my block guy? Alright, let's try to knock out that guy. Alright, we can shove him. Get out of there. Alright, you wanted to shove him? That's alright. I'm okay with that. It is. Now I can get a one die block on your Minotaur or a two die on him. It just depends on... Hmm. Hmm. I think I gotta do the Minotaur. Okay, good. That works. Yeah, shove him about a bit. That's fine. And we'll follow him in. Now... Oh, wait. I don't think that did anything of use. It actually did. Well, no, it didn't. It kind of <laughs> did. 
All right, I'm trying to figure out this Dirty Dave Blitz. Come on, I gotta get, I gotta get Trevon up. You gotta get up, Trevon. Crocky's gotta get up too. Uh, what is that? That's a two die. It doesn't matter though. That's a block, swampy. All right, all right, we gotta go for it. We gotta make a play. It's about making plays, and that's what we do. There we go. Oh, you have break tackle on that guy. Son of a bitch. Yeah! Ah. Oh. And we knock him down. Is that the only source that has break tackle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, god damn it. I thought, oh, I've got them all locked down. They only have agility one, and you have a sodding break <laughs> tackle, Saurus. Oh. Yeah, I do. Son I of a bitch. I knew it would come in handy. There we go, and we got your main guy tied up. And we can try to take him out. That works. And take him out. We can shove him away from the ball. All right. Okay then. Let's see what we got. Let's get our. Can't get my. Yeah, I can't get my ball center up. I thought I could. And blitz out of that, but. Gonna do that, yep. All right. Well, this time around we actually can do the punching in a good right. situation. So we're gonna punch the crocs to go. Bit of a shove. Okay, we don't want to shove him more to the point in this direction. Do I want to follow up with that? I do because I want to make sure that source is still marked correctly. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what else we got. Well, we got up these other two guys, then suddenly, Lavarius Nexterix the third is going to be in a little bit of trouble. So we'll go with Unless that. he's not. I'm going to go with... Oh, God damn it. I guess he's, <laughs> been, he's just been shoved around a little bit. Yeah, he's in real trouble now. Oh, God. Okay, real what else trouble. Yep. Yeah, and I'm, gonna, I can get, I'm trying to get rid of the Croxico with a minute, so I'm not going to do that yet. It's a little bit risky. Okay, who do we need to blitz, more to the point? What we need to do is try and prevent you from getting hold of that fucking ball. And the way we're going to do that is by blitzing this little bastard over here. No, all right. Yeah, you're not going to be dodging anything. Thank you very much. There's the tackle going in. That's what we like to see. All right, so I've got a bunch of one dice blocks. I've also got a potential pickup, and you are apparently being assaulted by a thunderstorm. That's a little mm -hmm. unfortunate. Okay. You also have to try to pick up the ball. I don't need to do anything. I just need to kill all of your guys that can pick up the ball. All right, let's see. Luckily, what we... my player, my players don't die very easily. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, what else have we'll we got? See. Yeah, skink back there. You got skink over there. Can try for a ball pickup. That's not a good roll. And we also can try for blocks. All right, we're gonna go for Moogles block two dice. Here we go. That is Croxigor down on the ground. That's what we like to see. There it is. All not, right. I'm not going to be doing too much now. I don't have a blitz left, but I can move. I can actually make this a two dice up against your Saurus here. Or at least a... No, it's actually still a one dice. <laughs> but I do, it is a one dice with block versus no block. Though. Oh. I'll take that. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? Now it goes the Saurus. All right. We've got another one dice block over here against someone without block. That's what we like to see. You are going down, son. Thank you very much. No. There we go. And let's try for the pickup. Here we go. Here it comes. Glorious pickup. Yes. Somehow. No. Some way. <laughs> That's what we like to see. All right. And that is a fairly solid turn as far as I'm concerned. Take it away. All right. Lizard Dick gets up. It's always a good thing. Crocky get up, he gets up. Swampy get up, he gets up. All right, let's see if we can make some plays. Make some plays. Uh, he's got blocks, so he can try to go there. All right, that works. Bam. 